Hello, my YouTube friends. What a great time it is to be alive. Yeah. Well, anyway, Streamlabs Melon is an epic browser-based live streaming tool that makes it so easy to go live on any social media platform or even multiple platforms at once. I did a bit of an introduction to Melon in a previous video that you can check out right here, but there isn't really much new to show you. What? Wow, that's a game changer. <laughs> they added that too? For free? Wow, these guys are not messing around. Streamlabs Melon has a ton of amazing new features since my last video that add more reliability and usability to an amazing browser-based live streaming platform. You wanna know what they added? Well, let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that have watched my content haven't subscribed. So if you ever got anything from any of my videos and you like what I do and I have helped you in the past, then do me a big favor and subscribe to the channel. And why not click that bell so you don't miss any new content. The biggest benefit to using a product like Streamlabs Melon for your live streaming is that you don't need a powerful computer to use it. Any Mac or Windows laptop or desktop should be able to use use all of these features without any issues whatsoever. And you can live stream in just a few minutes. And not just a live stream either, a high quality live stream that can use video, lower thirds, tickers, add guests, and have perfect audio. And the video quality is all the way up to 1920 by 1080 in full stereo. But don't just take my word for it, let's check it out together. There's a link in the description so you can go sign in for yourself and follow Follow along. A lot of the stuff I'm going to show you today is totally free. And if you're following along with me, you're going to be able to see what isn't free for yourself. But let's not wait any longer. Let's jump into Streamlabs Melon and check out these new features. So I'm going to go into Streamlabs. You can just get there through Google. I'll go up to products and select Melon down here in the bottom. And you're going to have to log in. It just uses a standard login to give permission for it to access your YouTube account. We've been through that on other videos. Once it loads up, you can see over on the left, it shows my camera and I can click to add it to the stream like it says here. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna click the up arrow next to video and I can select my camera right here if I have more than one. I can also select the resolution of my camera. It has 1080 at 30 frames per second and of course lower than that. Then I'm going to select the up arrow next to the microphone and I'm going to go in here. I can choose my audio input microphone and my audio output which would be speakers or headphone. Audio cancellation is a new feature that they have added so if you are having problems with echoes and that sort of stuff you can put on echo cancellation and it will fix that problem. You can also adjust your microphone volume right here if you uncheck that, or you can just have it automatically adjust. Now you can't turn on stereo if you have echo cancellation on, so just keep that in mind. But you can broadcast in stereo now, another amazing new feature from Streamlabs Melon. I'm just gonna click this to add myself to the stream. And I'm gonna go ahead and click this show chat button right here. And this shows the stream chat when you're streaming and private chat. If you have guests, you can chat with them privately. Next, I'm going to go to this edit screen and we can turn on a full HD stream. Yes, Streamlabs Melon does broadcast in full HD. I can also have it set to record my live streams, which is awesome. We'll be able to download and save those later. We can add participants names to our live stream right here. We can add our audio status button and this shows whether you or your guests are muted so you can easily figure out what's going on there. TTS on guest join will allow text to speech to show up. Next we're going to take a look at the logo feature. I can turn the logo on and off with this slider right here and I can upload an image of my own if I want to add my own logo. I just click upload new image. You can see the max is 10 megabytes. And I just browse to that, click open, it takes a few moments and it will replace the Melon logo with my logo. Awesome stuff. Next, we're gonna go down here. We can slide this slider to add the banner to our live stream. We can add text for our banner right here. And banners are basically just lower thirds. I can select the font for the text I wanna have in my banner right here. There's a pretty good selection of different fonts you can use. I can adjust the background color for the background of the lower third. And I can also adjust the font color by clicking here. 
Now I'll just set this back to Roboto. There we go. And next I'm gonna show you the ticker. If I just click this slider, it adds a scrolling text bar to the bottom of the screen. You can type in here whatever you want. You are free to change your fonts to whatever you would like them to be right here under your ticker font. You can also change your background color and your text color as well. That looks pretty good. Next, here is another cool feature. They have added a lot more backgrounds. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide myself on stream. I click and hide on stream over here on the left so we can see our backgrounds. And a lot of these backgrounds are completely free for you to use as the background for your live stream. Really cool. A lot of presets here. I don't think any other broadcast software gives you so many cool presets. And these are mostly all free. Next, we're gonna go down here to video and we have some countdown videos. There is cool audio that plays with these so it does mute your microphone while they are playing. All of these backgrounds are also free and they're presets so you can use them in here. But you don't just have to use theirs, you can upload your own. If you click upload new video, there's a max of 150 megabytes. All you have to do is browse to the location of the video that you wanna add to your live stream. Click on it and click open. And after a few moments, your video will be loaded into the system and then you can access your video just by clicking on it and as you can see it does play over top of your camera and you are muted when it's on but if you wanted to you can unmute yourself just by clicking unmute down here in the lower left and if you want to delete it you just click the red X and click delete and you're all set. Next, I wanna kinda of show you how you can change the layout of your screen. So we have our backgrounds here. In the lower left, we can choose these little boxes that will change the size of our camera so that it gives us the ability to actually see that background. And these look really cool. I just love how easy it is to change the layout in Streamlabs Melon. I think it's one of the best features. And they give you a lot of different options here as well. Next, I'm gonna show you how to share the screen. We're gonna go down here to share screen. I'm gonna select an application window. I'm gonna use Adobe Premiere as if I was going to do a tutorial. You can see it automatically switches us over into Adobe Premiere so that we can do what we wanna do right here. Now I'm gonna go back over here into Melon and you're gonna see you have to actually add the screen capture into Melon. So I'm gonna click show on stream. You can see right now that it is to the left. I can drag and drop it so mine is bigger or the other one's bigger. You can also go down here to the lower left and change the sizes with this layout button right here. And if I were to go over into Premiere, anything I do is now going to be shown on stream. And of course, just dragging and dropping will switch which screen is big and which is small. If I go up here, I can actually maximize the screen share so that it's the only thing you see and I can maximize mine as well. If I click it again, it will just get us back to the original setup. This is a really, really awesome feature and all you have to do is hide it on the stream or close it if you want. Next, I'm going to show you how to do some different stuff in settings. Here you can set up all the different platforms that you want to stream to just by linking the account. Under broadcast, this is where you're going to find all of the recordings that you create if you decide to record your live streams. They'll all be sitting here. You can download them if you like or save them to your hard drive, whatever you want to do. Over here in profiler, this is awesome. What this does is this goes and runs a check on your equipment to make sure that everything is functioning properly for your live stream. You just click the run button next to each of these things and it's going to go through and test all of your equipment. You can see here we have a little bit of an error with my audio. So before I live stream, I would have to go back and make sure that I fixed that. It's really cool because this basically is a way to verify that everything is running properly before you click that go live button. Here is all the features for your internet connection to make sure that you're able to keep a strong enough connection to live stream. And it goes through all the checks. And then of course this last one here checks on the server to make sure that it's all running properly so that your live stream will go off without a hitch. Now as far as I know, there is no other browse streaming software that allows you the opportunity to make sure that everything is functioning properly before you click that go live button. And you're going to get a much more professional quality stream with these sorts of features. So I really love that they added that. You can just go up here and go back into studio once you're finished and I want to show you how to schedule. So we click the schedule button down in the bottom and then click the schedule plus over here. Under this we can set it to listed, unlisted, or public and click the check mark and then go ahead and set this up. We can set our date right here, the date that we want to live stream and the time. Then we can go down here and set up a title for our live stream.
stream. Below that, we can set up a description for our live stream, and then we can set up a thumbnail as well. We just click upload thumbnail and browse to the location and click open. Now our thumbnail is up. We can just set it up so it looks how we want it to look on the screen. And once we are finished setting up the crop on our thumbnail, all we have to do is click that schedule button. Once our live stream is scheduled, you're going to see it over here on the right under scheduled broadcasts. You can copy the link or visit the actual YouTube page where your broadcast is going to happen, or you can enter the studio for that broadcast. These little three dots here have copy the link view on YouTube as well and delete. We're going to flip over into our YouTube channel. I'm just going to reload this page and you're going to see right here at the top, our scheduled live stream shows up. It shows when it's scheduled for and everything. I can go in here to details and change any of the things that we've already set up, like the title, the description, and the thumbnail. I can add tags and do whatever I want so I'm all ready for this live stream to happen. I can change the visibility from unlisted to visible or public. Now if I go over here and I actually delete a scheduled live stream, you can see now it's gone off of Streamlabs Melon. But if I go back into YouTube and I reload this page, you're gonna see that our live Live stream is still here and scheduled. So deleting it out of Melon doesn't delete it off of your YouTube channel. You got to go in here and go to more actions and delete it forever. And once you do that, then it is now gone. You are free to schedule another one. But if you forget to do this, that live stream is still going to be in here and scheduled pretty much forever. So there you go. On top of what you see here, they've dramatically improved the back end of Streamlabs Melon for more speed, quality, and reliability. Streamlabs Melon is adding features fast and furious, and it won't be long they're going to be adding integrated stream chat displays and widget overlays, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. And if you want to see more about adding guests with Streamlabs Melon, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber or live stream, streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.